action, nutritious, instant Ovaltine, the fortified food drink that tops them all. Boys and girls, at the end of today's adventure, I'm going to send a very important secret message, a clue to next week's adventure. Now, those of you who haven't received your Secret Squadron decoder badge, membership card and manual won't be able to decode this message. But right after we send it, we'll tell you how easily you can become a member of the Secret Squadron and get this badge and decoder for your very own. What you have to do is simple. You must promise to do as we do. Keep yourself healthy and mentally alert. And drink Ovaltine every day. It's the official Secret Squadron drink. Now, I want to show you what Ovaltine adds to milk. Ovaltine contains 27 important minerals and vitamins. We drink it every day. Hot for breakfast and at bedtime. Cold for lunch and between meal snacks. We like Ovaltine's delicious chocolate flavor, and so will you. Every day, drink instant Ovaltine. On a mountaintop high above a large city stands the headquarters of a man devoted to the cause of freedom and justice. A war hero who has never stopped fighting against his country's enemies. A private citizen who is dedicating his life to the struggle against evil men everywhere. Captain Midnight. Watch. You may see something interesting, if this metal is what we think it is. Turn out the lights, Ted, so we'll be able to see it better. All right. <clears throat> Was that what you were expecting? Yep. Typical thorium reaction. Yeah, there's a great future for that stuff. Cut it up and sell it for holiday sparklers. What's it called? Thorium. But there's a much more important future for it than sparklers. Nuclear power. Thorium nuclear power. Ever heard of it? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Thorium can be used as a substitute for uranium. In some ways, it's even better. You mean for making bombs? Well, for industrial use, too. It's one of the great discoveries of the atomic age. Our scientists are working on a thorium nuclear steam engine that may revolutionize our whole concept of electric power. Thorium. I haven't heard much about it. I mean, there hasn't been any rush to find it, like uranium. There will be. That's why Bob Hansen is in Arizona right now. Your friend, the mineralogist? Yep, Bob thinks he's on the track of the biggest monazite deposit outside of India. Monazite? I thought we wanted thorium. No, Ricky, monazite is the ore that thorium's found in, like uranium's found in pitch blend. Captain Midnight speaking. My name's Frank Adams. I'm a reporter on the Phoenix Sentinel. You know a man named Hanson, Robert Hanson? Uh, yes, I know Bob Hanson. He asked me to call you. He's in the hospital. In the hospital? What happened to him, an accident? Wasn't any accident. Somebody shot him. Shot him? Well, how is he? Is he out of danger? Well, he's all right, but he wants to see you right away. Says it's very important. Well, thanks very much for calling, Adams. Uh, tell Bob I'll see him first thing in the morning. All right. I'll pick you up at the airport. Get out the silver dart. Yes, sir. Sure like to know the reason for it. Shooting Bob Hansen? Why, that's easy. It's foreign agents who want to get the thorium stuff for their own country. No, they wouldn't have a chance to mine the ore and get it out of the country without being discovered. No, I've got a feeling we're not up against foreign agents this time, Mickey. Huh? Well, who are we up against? I wish I knew. Hey. We're about over that spot now, aren't we? Just about where Bob went prospecting? Yep. Boy, I don't think I ever saw anything more unfriendly looking than those mountains down there. It's unfriendly, all right. And lonesome, too. Well, I don't know about that. There must be somebody down there. 
It's there. I know it is. The biggest thorium deposit in the world. All the signs indicate it. Now, take it easy, Bob. You're in no condition to get excited. Now, tell us what happened. Somebody shot me. I don't know who. It came from out of nowhere, the most desolate country you ever saw. I managed to get back on the highway after two or three days walking. Then I passed out until the sheriff's patrol found me. Hmm. Rifle bullet? And what was it? This. An Indian arrowhead. Shaft broke off when they pulled it out of me. You mean there were still Indians in these hills? On, on the warpath? Not that I know of. I'd say this is an arrow of the Chiricahua Apaches. You can check it at the local museum. Chiricahua Apaches? Hey, their chief was Cochise, wasn't he? Cochise? See, I know him. I saw him in the movies. Good looking guy. Tall. Cochise has been dead for a half a century. Oh. All the Chiricahuas are gone. Hasn't been one seen in those mountains for 10 years. Mm. Then how do you explain this? Well, Indians are ghosts of Indians. Nobody's going to keep you from going back there and finding that thorium. Look, you've got to get your strength back first. Doctor says that might take some time. But we can't delay. Yeah, I know. That's why Icky and I are going in there. Sure, we're going in. That's why what? Did you meet going there? I wouldn't go in without you. You won't go in with me either. Now, not to fight Indians. You're not afraid. Well, if you put it that way, yes, I am. I've drawn a map of the country and the road I took. You'll find that this is a pretty rough country, but I've left markers along the way. At the end here, there's an odd-looking cactus with two stones stuck in it. I don't know who put them there. Okay. We'll get an outfit together right away. I'll show you where you can rent some burrows. In fact, I wish you'd let me come with you. I know the country, and if you make that thorium strike, it'll be a big story for my paper. Sure, why not? Hey, the more the better. He looks like he can handle three or four redskins. Well, so long, Bob. And we'll be back with that thorium, if it's there. If we come back. Oh, in prospecting? Oh, in a way. Going up superstition mountain way? Oh, that depends. And what? On these burrows? We're just going to give them their head and see where they lead us. <laughs> I see a lot of tender feet set out into them mountains, hoping to strike it rich. Never seen one that made it. Hey, according to this map, we start off due east. That's right. Do you know the section of the country? I've done a little hunting nearby, but I've never been in it, no. All right, Aki, let's start breaking in those boots. You mean I gotta walk? I thought these were pack animals. They are, but they're not gonna pack you. Superstition Mountain? Is that where we're going? That's right, Icky. Yeah, but why do they call it that? It's named for a superstition of the Apaches who used to live around here. They thought it was the home of their thunder god, and that the ghosts of their ancestors protected it from intruders. Intruders? That's us. Come on. What was that? Oh, just a coyote. Coyote? Sounds more like a ghost. Say, maybe that's what happened to Bob, one of them ghosts, huh? Oh, nonsense. That arrow wasn't shot by any ghost. It was shot by a man, and with good aim, too. Bob was lucky to escape alive. Yes, he was lucky. Several people have lost their lives in these mountains. You mean murdered? I don't know. What were they doing here anyhow? Looking for thorium? They were all looking for gold. Mostly the lost Peralta mine. Say, I've heard of that. There's quite a story attached to it, isn't there? Yes. It happened about a hundred years ago, when this was all Spanish territory. Peralta found several mines up here and took out so much gold that it became fabulously rich. After he'd suffered a good many nuisance raids, he decided to hide his gold. He selected the richest and most inaccessible mine of all as his hiding place. It was reached through a narrow, twisted runway that opened into a hidden canyon. This runway was the only entrance to and the only exit from the fabulous mine, 
located on the dangerous ledge below. While armed men stood guard, Peralta's miners made their way to the dangerous ledge. And pure gold nuggets were poured into sacks for storage in the hidden mine. Peralta sat just inside his mine and knew that he possessed some $20 million worth of gold. But fate had decreed a different kind of fortune for him. Fate and the Apaches. <laughs> Cochise, the great Apache chief, watched the attack. After the massacre, he ordered his warriors to close the mine, and for a very good reason. You see, to the Apaches, this whole area is a holy place which the Spaniards had to fire. It wasn't enough for Cochise just to kill Peralta and his men. All traces of them and their work had to be removed. So he ordered his men to close the mine and hide it so that it could never be found again. And with that accomplished, Cochise and the Apaches felt that their thunder god was avenged. Every mine was closed so efficiently that they disappeared from view as though they had never existed. And Peralta's $20 million worth of gold was returned to the earth, buried inside the sacred mountain from which it had been taken. That's the legend that has been told in these parts for over a hundred years. Quite a story. Boy, those Apache showman business. Quick, get behind those rocks. Get around behind him. Stay here. What's the idea of sneaking up on a fella? That's a good question. Suppose you answer it. There's your ghost, Frank, your Indian, the man who rented us the burrows. Clem, what's the idea? He probably followed us from town. You mean he's been shooting the arrows? Arrows? I didn't shoot no arrows. Look for that bow, Wicky. Search his pack. You look around, too, Frank. And you shot Bob Hansen, too, didn't you? With an arrow, to make it look like Indians. You're local. When I do any shooting, it ain't with no arrows. Couldn't find any bow and arrows. Not in his pack, either. I told you. Why were you following us, Clem? I'm looking for the Peralta gold mine the same as you are. We're not looking for gold. We're looking for thorium-bearing monazite. Thori? What's that? Something you wouldn't be interested in. Now, get out of here. I don't want to see you around here again. Now, just a minute, mister. For nine hundred thirty years, I've been looking for the Peralta gold mine. And there ain't no law nor man can make me stop now. Then stay away from us. We don't like to be followed. Yeah, we don't like to be followed. Okay, okay. You won't see me no more. I don't think he'll trouble us anymore. Just the same. I think I'll keep watch for a while. Good idea. I'll watch for you in a couple of hours. Here's Joe Jackson, a fine example of what Captain Midnight means when he says, Drink instant Ovaltine every day for rocket power. Joe is a secret squadron member who lives up to his pledge to drink chocolate-flavored Ovaltine every day. But Sam, Joe's friend, isn't a secret squadron member and doesn't get the proper foods. Look what happens when he tries to climb the rope. No power. But now, watch Joe. That boy's really got rocket power. You see, boys and girls, Ovaltine's far more than just a flavoring for milk. Ovaltine contains 27 different vitamins, minerals, and other important food elements to help give you rocket power and to help you be like Captain Midnight himself. 
So join the secret squadron, boys and girls, and drink instant chocolate-flavored Ovaltine. Drink it hot for breakfast and at bedtime. Drink it cold for lunch and between meal snacks to help give you rocket power in everything you do. Why don't you start drinking Ovaltine today? Well, we've gotten as far as Bob did. Now, according to this map, there should be a cactus around here with a couple of rocks stuck in it. There it is. That's it, all right. What's it there for, anyhow? It's supposed to be a marker pointing to the lost mine. Yeah? Which way does it point? No one knows. Treasure hunters have tried every possible direction and found nothing. Well, let's forget about the mine and see if we can't find some monocyte. Switch on the omnicounter. Monazite is as hard to find as gold. Maybe harder. Well, let's not get discouraged. We've just started. Let me have the omnicounter. What do you say we fan out in all directions? Nikki, why don't you take a look over that way? If you see anything interesting, give us a yell. If I run into anything, you'll hear me yell. Let's take a look over here, Frank. to a mine. Yeah, but it's all covered with rock. A mine entrance covered with rock. Let me check this on the counter for gold. The lost Peralta mine. Hey, gold. Gold! What are we standing here for? Let's get our shovel and start digging. Story say, twenty million bucks. Twenty million bucks. It's all here. Every bit of it. It's all. It's all here. Here.
Well, it's old Charlie, last of the Chiricahua Apaches. Well, he must be 100 years old. Everybody thought he died at least 10 years ago. The last guardian of the treasure. Apache died. Thunder God, he still lives. Last man to believe in the Thunder God. Well, at least we can give him a decent burial. Let's get back to Iggy. Wait a minute. Drop your gun belt. Have you gone crazy? I said drop your gun belt. Hurry it up. Now turn around. So you can shoot me in the back? If I were going to shoot you, I'd have done it already. Start walking towards the edge of that cliff. You're going to die accidentally by falling. When did you get this bright idea? Just now. A man thinks fast when he's around $20 million. Turn around, start walking. I guess so. Looks like just a flesh wound. See, where you been? I thought that Indian must have got you. He's dead. So's Frank. Frank? What got him? Gold fever. You think you can make it? Yeah, I guess so. Let's try it. Hey, what was that? Thunder? Earthquake, come on! Everything's changed. Well, turn on the on the counter. We'll soon find that gold. Nope. It's gone. Gone? Gone where? Swallowed up by the earthquake. You know, that old Indian was right. The Thunder God still lives. Seems like he's got the drop on anyone who wants to take his gold. Clem, the old Indian, Frank. Well, let's go back to town, report their deaths to the police. What about looking for Thorium? No, that'll have to wait. We'll come back some other time after Bob Hansen gets well.
There's a letter from Bob Hansen. Has he found that thorium yet? No, not yet. Well, he should have let us go along like we wanted to. That yeah, may take years. Well, Bob hopes to find some thorium in the crevice is opened up by the earthquake. Says he'll stay there until he finds it. Any Indians shooting at him? No, we saw the last of that tribe, Icky. Oh, by the way, here's a letter for you. Me? Hey, nobody writes me letters. Say, this is terrible. What's the matter? Well, this fellow in Mexico, he's in jail and needs $200 to get out. Oh, a uh, friend of yours? Oh, no, I never heard of him before. Says he found a map to a gold mine. And if you send him the money to get out of jail, he'll send you the map. Yeah. Gold worth millions. He... What does this guy think I am, crazy? <laughs> you know a man ought to be arrested for sending mail like this through the, through the mails? I mean, you, you gotta be... Who's he? If I... I, I, I... Attention, all members of the Secret Squadron. Here is today's secret clue to help you solve next week's adventure. It's a two-word message, and the second word is in our secret code. The first word is call. Now, here is the secret code word. Write down these numbers. 14, 5, 14, 8, 1, 16. Now, set your secret decoder like this for code C9. Then decode this important clue to next week's adventure. If you don't have a decoder, join the Secret Squadron and get one of your very own, absolutely free. Now here's all you do. Get a jar of chocolate-flavored Ovaltine, the official Secret Squadron drink that helps give you rocket power. Then cut out the wax paper disc that covers the Ovaltine jar and send that disc with your name, your address, to me, Captain Midnight, Box P, Chicago 77, Illinois. And you'll receive free your Secret Squadron decoder badge, your numbered Secret Squadron membership card, and official 12-page manual, and you'll be a full-fledged member of the Secret Squadron. I'll bet your mother will let you get a jar of Ovaltine right now if you tell her that when you drink Ovaltine, you get 27 different vitamins, minerals, and other important food elements in a delicious drink. So drink Ovaltine hot for breakfast and at bedtime and cold for lunch and between meal snacks, just as we do. Remember, Ovaltine, the food drink that helps give you rocket power. When a volcano erupts, smoke and flame burst from the crater and hot molten lava pours down its sides. On my next mission, I will attempt to go into the very heart of a flaming volcano to find the answer to a baffling mystery that involves a scientist, a native boy, and a mountain of fire. Be sure to watch. This is Captain Midnight signing off with the code of the Secret Squadron. Justice through strength and courage. Out. to you by Ovaltine, chocolate-flavored Ovaltine, delicious, nutritious, instant Ovaltine, a fortified food drink that tops them all.